Hey everyone, tonight the story is The Sheep of Edinburgh Street. Let's start. There once was a little sheep who had always lost her way. That's how she came to find herself on Edinburgh Street one day. Her hoofs had walked the humble bridge up St George's Road she ran. Take the next left onto Woodcock Street, bleated the sheepish lollipop man. Tired from all the walking and very far from home, she began to miss her lush green field and felt so all alone. But as she turned on Edinburgh Street and passed house number one, a juggling sheep popped out of the door and shouted, Hiya, I'm John! Hiya, the little sheep replied, while passing number two, where Sue the singing sheep trilled out, I'm so pleased to meet you! Our sheep just smiled and bowed her head, trotting past number three, where appeared a fire-eating sheep who bellowed, and I'm Fee! Hello, the little sheep replied, moving on past number four, where nothing moved or made a sound, with no one behind the door. What's your name? asked Juggling John, and she answered, I'm not sure, because in her field they had no names or numbers on the door. But you must have a name or a talent, sang out sheep called Sue. That's right, said Fee, belching out smoke, like I'm a fire eater, what about you? I don't have a name or a talent, said the little sheep, beginning to cry. I just stand in a field on my own and watch the world go by. I dream of going to parties, groaning with food and drink, and decorations and performers just like you. Then I wouldn't feel so lonely, I think. But I'm just a little lost sheep, and I'm not very big. I think that it would take lots of much bigger sheep to plan such a huge shindig. Wow, sang Sue, what a dream, and it makes me really glad that you've dreamed up something we all can do together, so please don't feel sad. So huff in huff they trotted down to the centre of Woodcock Street. She'd never imagined her dreams could come true, or dreamed of friends she could meet. Together they planned the best shindig, with cakes and performers galore, and dancing and laughing and chatting all day. Our sheep was alone no more. And because she loved it so very much, she wanted her own front door. So they named her Shimmy and moved right in to that empty house number four. So when you're next in HU3 and you never know what you never meet, if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of sheep of Edinburgh Street. Bye. You can meet some very special sheep in half term with the family show, The Adventures of Bo Peep at Edinburgh Street Community Centre. Tickets are free found details on Back to Others page. That's the last bye. Bye!